Fish hatcheries are used to prepare and procreate a large number of fish in an enclosed environment. Hatcheries produce larval and juvenile fish, shellfish, and crustaceans, supports the aquaculture industry, which they will be transferred to an ongoing system such as fish ponds to reach harvest size. Requirement for a successful hatchery Broodstock Broodstock or broodfish are a group of mature individuals used in aquaculture for breeding purposes. Broodstock can be a population of animals maintained in captivity as a source of replacement for or enhancement of seed and fry numbers. Source of water Any source of water can be used regardless of its origin, as long as it provides desirable quality and available in quantity. However, the methods of bringing the water from the supply source to the ponds and other infrastructures has to be determined. Examples of water source including Wells Wells are sung to get access to the underground water. To use it, the water has to be pumped up by using hydrostatic pressure. But only the water from artesian well will rise to the surface. The water obtained from well is normally a good water supply for hatchery as the water doesn't usually contain any contaminations, but it should be aerated as it contains low dissolved oxygen. Hatcheries facilities and equipment Water supply Important factors in fish hatchery Best use filtration to filter the water to avoid any unnecessary entrance. Good water quality such as the pH is about 7 and the water hardness along with alkalinity is about 25 ppm. Electrical supply. For the hatchery to operate effectively, lack of electrical supply will cause great malfunction of all hatchery equipment. Generator must be installed for emergency purposes. Hatchery layout plan. The hatchery layout is presented following its production skills. Examples of criteria to be adopted are rational exploitations of available space and energy and choice of materials and equipment. Positioning of various units at appropriate places plays crucial role in easy and economic operation of hatchery when designing the hatchery. As example, the aeration system and water pumping stations should be kept far from the broodstock facility to avoid vibration and noise disturbance to the brooders. Types of ponds in hatchery Broodfish tanks Broodfish tanks are intended to hold sufficient stock of parent fishes to ensure the timely production. These tanks usually circular or rectangular concrete tanks. Incubation tanks There are three major types of incubation tanks that are egg mounts, trays, and conical incubators. In UITM Buka Hatchery, egg mats are mainly used. The reservoir is a water holding structure which is made of three compartments which includes a simple filtration unit with layers of sands, gravel and stones from top to bottom for a good filtration. Anesthetics In aquaculture, they are often used to immobilize fish so that they can be treated more easily. Clove oil is one of anesthetics used for fish. We can use an anesthetic bath that containing a sufficient drug concentration for the fish. It will absorb the drug through the gills and enter the bloodstream easily. Hygiene Gloves are used to avoid the contamination of aquaculture products. Nets should be washed occasionally to lower the risk of physical and microbial contamination during use. Supply oxygen to culture organism Aerators are mechanical devices that increase the water content of dissolved oxygen. Gravity aerators, diffuser aerators, surface aerators, and turbine aerators are different forms of aerators used in aquaculture.